This is one of my favorite uh, optical illusion sculptures. And today I'm gonna show you the secret uh, of how it works. But first we're gonna look closely at what this illusion does. Uh, let me take it off the table so you can see there is nothing below it and there is nothing above. Uh, and as I move this disc, you can see that something impossible uh, is going on. We've got these uh, different color cords. It's almost like cords you see somewhere in a house. Uh, or in a building, and it seems like they're going on uh, to infinity. It looks like the cords rise up when we bring this disc up. Uh, it looks like the cords are moving down when we bring the disc down, but you can see, I'll put my hand over it, there is in fact nothing on top of this, and putting my hand on the bottom, uh, you can see there's nothing on the bottom. So the question is, how do these cords go on uh, seemingly infinitely? That's the first question. Second question is, uh, what's going on with the color changes uh, of these cords where you can see, let me bring the light in a little more so you can really see it here. I've got my bright studio lights here. This should really give you a clearer look at the color, which you can see as this goes up and down, the color of the lights is changing as well. So how the heck is this happening? Uh, well, it's a couple things. First of all, uh, despite what it seems, these cords are not moving up and down uh, at all. They are rotating. Uh, but they're actually rotating in two different ways, uh, if that makes sense. Uh, let me show you the gears from the inside. If you look close at the bottom here, I'll bring the lights in. Look at that. See those gears? You see each one of the cords, it's on its own track, and it is rotating uh, instead of going up and down. That's the first thing uh, you need to know. Now, the next thing has to do with the secret of the black uh, disc here in the middle. You can see the um, the yellow wire, which on the other side is this uh, nice purple color, but you can see it's not going through the middle. It's actually got a slit in the disc and it, for, it fits perfectly into that slit. You see that there? So we've got the three wires in the middle, then uh, the slit goes on the outside. It is housed in this 3D printed cage, which is the black bars uh, on three of the sides. That gives you a uh, perfect visibility from the front and it lets you hold it from the back of the sides to display the illusion. So what's really happening here uh, when this goes up? And then also, uh, how does it just fall down on its own sometimes, or sometimes you can pick it up or essentially put it down like that. So what's happening is you do not move the ring. The ring does not rotate around. You can see, because I'm holding it in my hand. But because the ring does not rotate around, that means as you lift it up, it automatically rotates the big piece of this, that one that's yellow and red on the, on the sides. And when you rotate that outer one that's yellow and red on the side, that is also going to rotate the three inner spirals. And these spirals were all 3D printed in such a way that as uh, they turn, you can see it's got three colors here. This one, this has got a blue here, it's got a pink here, it's got a green there. Uh, this one goes from yellow to red, depending on how you're looking at it. But as these rotate, you can see it looks like it's it's just going up and down. So if I was to do it like this, it would look like it is going up infinitely. Or if you do the opposite, it looks like it is going down infinitely. So that's the first thing you need to know. Now, when we take this up, that's the first part of it where it looks like it's going up, but then, it looks like the ring is falling down on its own. That is not what's happening. This ring is not actually falling down. Take another look and see if you can see what's happening here before I explain it. Uh, also, I'm curious to look in the comments of this video if the people still watching it. Uh, if you are still watching this, hi, by the way, thank you for watching. Uh, I'm curious to know what your interest in is in this. For me personally, I love these optical illusion sculptures because I study magic. And whenever there's something that is a little magical, I love to look at it. But what is it uh, that you find interesting about this? Let me know in the comments. I will read them. I always do. All right. Uh, so if this, this outer ring is not dropping, uh, what is happening? And the answer is it is dropping 
and rotating at the same time. Uh, in other words, if this stays steady, let me show you this, the ring, you can see, it's you have to spin it down to get it to go down. So it is gravity that's taking it down, but that there, that makes it look like the ring is not actually connected to this. So that illusion I did at the start is very deceptive, where you pull the ring and it looks like it's going up, and then if you let the ring drop, it looks like it's infinitely going up. Pretty cool, right? Let me know in the comments. Bye, everyone. So how does the blade uh, go through the finger, right? That's the puzzle, and I'm gonna do it uh, one more time to give you a chance to figure it out, and then I'll show you how it works if you can't figure it out. Uh, so these are sticks of uh, jicama, uh, it's a root vegetable, uh, and you see, it goes in the holes uh, there. Right? And then the interesting thing is if, if you don't put your finger in, right, and if I just chop down like this, you can see it uh, cutting that jicama. Right? Bring this back up. Uh, now, let's watch again. This time I'm going to put my uh, finger in it as it was before. We've got one piece of jicama. We've got two pieces of jicama hair. There we go. Uh, I'll go really slow uh, this time to give you every opportunity to figure it out. So the finger uh, goes in that hole here and then slowly we bring the blade down and you'll see it will uh, cut into that first jicama piece, goes through the finger and cuts that second jicama piece. There. And now, I wonder if you've figured it out or if I have to tell you the secret uh, of this amazing uh, puzzle. I love it. They've thought of everything here. You can see the bottom. It goes flush like that. Look at how that is uh, split there so it can go straight, but then it can also double as a stand that goes there. Uh, all right. So if you have not figured out uh, how this puzzle works, uh, let me show you. Uh, first of all, people are curious if this blade like breaks away. Uh, it is not a breakaway blade. Uh, it is in fact one piece of metal. I don't even know what a breakaway blade would be, but some people wonder if it breaks, uh, comes back together. Uh, but in a sense, it does do that because this gives the illusion that you're looking at uh, one blade, but in fact, uh, this part here is not connected with this part here. Uh, the part on the top is, however, connected to a pulley in the back, uh, and that allows you to displace the lower part of the blade while the top part of the blade uh, stays in place. So uh, let's take a look here from the back side, right? And this will give you a good sense uh, of how it works. So the finger goes here, and then as uh, your hand goes on the blade and you pull the blade uh, down, right, what happens, and I'll actually do it up here, your finger pulls up this, and you can see that retracts the bottom part of the blade, not the top part of the blade, though. And because it does not retract all the way, right, that is still enough blade to cut through the jicama as it misses the finger. Then, when it gets to the bottom, uh, you push the blade back into place, and then you get rid of the jicama. Then when you lift the blade up, uh, you can see it passing through, going from bottom to top. Uh, all right, well, this is one of my favorite uh, old wooden uh, puzzles. I'm curious if you figured it out. I will be looking in all the comments uh, and also, if you love this sort of uh, uh, puzzle and contraption as much as me, I would love to hear from you. So let me know. I'm going to read through all the comments of this video. Bye, everyone.